Today on Ask the Mead Maker, I have two special guests. I'd like to introduce you to... The only two other living things that, like yours truly, survive exclusively on coffee and mead. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any questions you're willing to send to me. Ryan called up the other day with two softball questions for me, so I'm just going to get them right out of the way. First, he said, Ricky, your hair is dope. What's your secret? The answer is, I have a four-day routine on day one, shampoo and condition. Day two, rest. Day three, condition only. Day four, rest and repeat. His second question was, do I have any cats? The answer is no. I like my animals to be functional. And since I don't have a mouse or a vole problem, I don't have a cat to deal with it. Our next question comes from Azazel, who wants to know if we use a boil or a no boil method for making our mead. Now, if you had watched our video from last week, you would know that we're a no boil facility. But that's not because we're anti-boil, it's because we don't have the capacity to do so. Now, that said, we do bring our temperature up to about 100 degrees just to get the water and the honey to mix. Our next question comes from Chris, who wants to know how I first got into mead making and then how I decided to open a meadery. And the answer is, I was a nanny for five years and anyone who takes care of small children knows nothing will make you want to drink, quite like little humans. And how I decided to open a meadery, do you have any idea how fun this is? If you could do this every day, wouldn't you? Our last question this week comes from a different Chris, and his question is, if you want any sweepstakes and a bottle making company offered to make any type of bottle for your meads for free, what kind of bottle would you choose? A, I'd love to enter that sweepstakes, and B, that is the easiest question in the world, an absolute no-brainer. I would obviously pick Klein bottles. And with that, I'm going to send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. This week's word is Sizer, a mead made with honey and apple, as in Chaos Sizer, our newest product. Ours also has vanilla in it. It's not essential for being a sizer, but it's essential for a little chaos. Sizer, it's our word of the week at the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.